Hello everyone, my name is Ravindra. In this video, we will see how to display the attachments in the multi-line text columns, okay, as a hyperlink, okay. If I click here, you can be see the image will display here, okay, SharePoint image. So how to do this? Also in the Power Apps, same, you, if you click on the link, okay, it will display you the image, okay. So how to do this? Let's we see, okay. So in the SharePoint, okay, I have the simple title text column, okay. In the, I have taken here one multi-line text columns, okay. Here, let's take multi-line text in the more option. You have to turn on this use enhanced rich text experience, okay. Just turn on it and say create a column, okay. And your attachment column is already present, okay. So in this attachment column, I will just display you, not this, I will display you this record. So you can see these four columns are present here, but we can't able to see this, okay? To overcome this problem, uh, you can go with this type of scenario, okay? So like uh, this, you can be achieved. So how to do this? Let's see. So first step, you have to do uh, this, okay? Change your multi-line text column and enhance this advanced option, okay? Use enhance rich text editor. After that, you have to go and jump to the power automate. Track a trigger when item is created or modified. Okay, like here you can be see we are taken when item is created or modified. After that, you have to initialize one variable. Okay, so like go add action, search here variables, click on the variables, and use this action initialize variable. Give name here like uh, I give my name Ravindra, and just change it to the string like you can be see here and assign the initial value to the ul you can be assigned ul as well as well as ol okay ul stands for an order list and ol stands for order list okay so this step you have to do after that we go for the next step get change for an item or a file property means when item is some properties are modified in that case we have to take this action okay how to take this action let's add action here go to the sharepoint okay sharepoint take the sharepoint from here just scroll it down and here you can be get get changes for an item or a file properties just select this simply okay after selecting this give your site name in my case my share site address is power platform okay and uh, list name is sharepoint attachment display so i selected this select that trigger id from here like i have done after that since means from where okay so just scroll it down scroll it down and here you can be see at the end when trigger window start token select this and until select the trigger window end like you can be see here i have done and there also done after that simply take this column okay in the condition let's we add one condition here from here let's add condition in the condition take the value okay so we have to check as item as column change list of items so we have to check this so we take here and go to the expressions type here false and just okay so this uh, condition you have to take and here is equal to check the condition okay let me delete this for now after that go and get the attachments of your sharepoint list okay from means here number of attachments are present okay to get this attachment i will show you here a uh, number four attachments are present to take every attachment we have the one connector is present get attachments okay from that we get all the attachments like four attachments are present there so by using get attachment we get the four attachment okay after that uh, you have to take the apply to each okay in apply to each you have to go and select the body of get attachments okay it will automatically go into the loop okay if you take or if you take the apply to each then also okay because it is a number of items okay here is four you can be see in our case we have four number of item 
literate each of the item that's why we uh, use here apply to each after that we will use we have to use this initialize variable here okay and we have to same variable name attachment in my case i have taken attachment and list value just use your li tag and a herf after that absolute url means your attachment url okay on the basis of that you are displaying and display name okay so you will get uh, like this type of output here okay i will just uh, show you so you can be see in the list okay we get this output on the basis of that we are navigating from one page to the another page okay simply after that we are using the closing tag ul okay append to string variable after that we are using update items okay let's i go to the edit stage in the update item simply i have used the site address after that list name id same that are trigger title we are taken from same dynamic content title and the list of attachments simply this append to string variable we have taken here and that's all friends okay uh, let's we test it i will show you the how it works okay so i will close here test it manually save and test here let's we go to the sharepoint new item we'll add item here we give ravindra one we add the attachment headers let's add this three attachment one two three open it and save let's we go to our power automate so we trigger our flow okay so it is running so you can be see our flow is run successfully all the attachment and i just refresh it so in the run history you can be see our flow is triggered successfully but our flow is triggering two times okay and also we get one warning also okay in in the flow if you see okay i just go here and just edit it in the flow checker you can be also see the action in the flow may result in infinite trigger loop okay because um we are using here update items okay and we to use a trigger here when item is created or modified okay me in in the last day we are modifying in the item okay so that's why we are taken here get changes for a item file properties okay so by using this okay uh, our flow is run second time as well you, if you see in the run history in our flow is run second time also but in second time our flow is trigger but our conditions become false you can be see and uh, our item is not attached on uh, we are not fall into the infinite loop okay so that's why we are taken here this property that's all friends and we also updated the item as let's we refresh it so you can be see our all the icon are present here so if we click on this you can be see our we get the correct result as well okay so we i just came to back okay so how to display this into the power apps okay so i will go to the power app okay simply add the gallery here okay in the gallery add your uh, sh sharepoint list okay and for that multi line of text use the html text okay and in the html text use this item dot list of attachments okay means your column name this column name okay so uh, as this is a html text so it will easily navigate okay that's all friends okay if you have any question any doubt you can be asked to me at uh, anywhere if you have some suggestions for me you can be provide okay suggestions are always welcomes okay i try to improve myself more and more okay keep learning keep growing keep exploring new things thank you friends have a nice day